It's master. I will finish this. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of the Emperor's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. My master. I must obey. I must. is yours, yours at last. Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. Well, 
This is a bigger mess than any we made in the old days. My congratulations. My powers, they're draining. Just like Mazora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. It's over. It's truly over. And the worm squirms no more. Who need not worry that his seat on my skull will grow suddenly stickier with Mind Flayer juice. Ah, uh, forgive Minsk. It has been said that his mouth sometimes frolics in fields far ahead of his mind. It makes little difference to me. I did what I had to to secure my freedom. And in spite of your resistance to completing your evolution, you have proved a good ally. I'm glad you think so. I did my best. Skva, you may have succeeded, but I have failed. Gith's son is dead, and Vlakith has abandoned me. I will be hunted by her Inquisition to the ends of the world. I must leave. I have nothing more to gain by being here. be a restless life while the false queen reigns over my people but a life nonetheless and a free one yes i will stay my destiny is for neither vlakith nor orpheus to decree it is mine we fought well together i will gladly fight with you again if not the astral seas then here and wherever else we go the Githyanki are leaving us. An unlikely place to find ourselves, fighting on the same side as them. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Gionfa. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. The power of Carsus would be in my hands. But what then? What would I do with it once I have it? Sage and timely counsel as always. And I intend to heed it. A wise man learns from his mistakes and strives not to repeat them. I shall bring the crown to Mistra. She'll cure me of my affliction. And I'll finally be free. I'm sure. If this adventure has taught me anything, is that there are things in this world far more valuable than power. You, for example. You're always wiser than me when it mattered most. Besides, I'm growing quite fond of this merry band of ours, but I'd quite like to see what happens to it. I'm sure Mistra will summon me soon enough, but until then, I propose we celebrate our victory the mortal way, with a drink in our hands and reckless abandon in our hearts. <sighs> Who wins the bet? Wizards are not entirely boring. Well, my friend, what do you say?
There is much to do. But a drink might be nice. A seat would be better. I will not be joining you. I fear my presence will be no more welcome in the streets of the city than it ever was. I hope the knights and shadows treat you well. You're an odd friend, but I suppose a friend still. I will miss you too. Now that you no longer live in each other's minds, it's hard to tell if the mind flare is being sincere, though perhaps no harder than it ever was. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the... Ow! What the... Oh no! Oh God! Well, it was... It was nice when it lasted! Ah! I, I'm sorry! I, I have to go! That's the last of a starry and the sun will ever see. May he fare well in the dark. We did it, soldier. The city's going to be all right. And so are you. Engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. So, how'd I do? So are you, my friend, my companion. I adore you. allow this. Karlak, you're coming with me. Back to Avernus. We can't let her die. Not like this. Not now. blade of Avernus at your side. Zariel won't touch you. I swear it, Karlak. Fine. I'll go. Well, with you. But we have to go. Now. I can't hang on much longer. It's over, and it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no Illithid Empire, no Death God's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate.
you slept like a babe straight through the night, dreamless, thoughtless, and almost entirely free. For the first time, you feel alone, calm. You breathe. Baal may have been your beginning, but he will not be your end. Of all those you killed in your father's name, one lingers in your mind even now. Quill, the dreaming bard. Her death weighs upon you still. A burden you will carry for the rest of your days. But fortunately, you will not have to carry it alone. It's curious. After all the wonders and monstrosities we've witnessed, waking beside you seems more unreal than any of it. I've forgotten what it felt like. To greet a sunrise without fear of it being my last. Soon, I'll deliver the crown to Mistra and be rid of the orb at long last. I'll be free. Oh, him! Huh. I've been thinking a lot about that. Gale of Waterdeep. Sounds a bit... pompous, don't you think? I thought I might take this opportunity to... reinvent myself. Or uninvent myself, to be more accurate. You're now in the company of plain old Gale Decarius, a most brilliant wizard of intentionally limited renown. At your service. Now, I believe this is the moment where I should get to my point, so to speak. I love you. More than I've ever loved anyone, mortal or immortal. And you've proven your love for me in more ways than even the greatest mathematicians would dare to count. That being said, I wondered if you might consider accompanying me back to Waterdeep as a new member of the Dakarius clan. Uh, <laughs> I suppose I am. Tara would be delighted, not to mention my mother. But I'd be just as happy without such ceremony. So long as we're together. Then I go where you go. Waterdeep wouldn't be home without you anyway. We'll need to make the arrangements, of course. The Dakarius clan is scattered far and wide, and you'll have invites of your own to send out, I'm sure. But that's all to come. The day is young, and there are thousands more days ahead of us. Gale have traveled long and far, seeking out knowledge and adventure in the hidden places of the world. Sometimes it isn't clear if he loves the wonderful places his curiosity leads him to more than he loves you. But whenever he looks into your eyes, or up at the stars while he sits by your side, you know the answer. One such night, your reveries are interrupted by an embarrassed courier delivering an urgent message written in a frail hand. An invitation. The location is familiar, and though the road is hard and long, you would not miss this for the world. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more thou shouldst take care to preserve it. 
It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. so you can make a dramatic entrance, is it? Starting to wonder if you'd show up. In all likelihood, it will be. But we mustn't let that stop us. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. more substantial than before less camping and scrounging off the land I take it I suppose I do don't I I'm glad you seem well Trudy wandering mostly the adventuring life is almost a tonic when you're not constantly threatened by brain monsters and cultists. I can finally see the world beyond the cloister. One of my first stops was the House of the Moon in Waterdeep. It's the largest temple of Saluna in existence. It seemed like the perfect spot to reflect on my parents and where they came from. And where I came from, too, I suppose. Hard to imagine, isn't it? Me, of all people, in the lair of the Moon Witch herself. God, your truest act of heroism was putting up with all that char and drivel I was spouting for so long. Oh, I know they are. I can still sense them, I think. And one day we'll be reunited. I've had run-ins with my former fellow Sharons on a couple of occasions. Word seems to have spread of what happened at the Cloister. Now other chapters of Shah worshippers see me as a prime target to offer up to their lady as a sacrifice. Don't worry. I know their tired old tricks better than anyone. They'll need more than a hooded cloak and poison blade to best me. Especially when I have a friend on the inside keeping me abreast of their predictable little plans. None other. The matter of her faith and allegiances remains... complicated, let's say. But she is still my oldest friend. I have hopes that perhaps she might turn from Shah entirely given time. That's a decision she will have to make for herself. If that day comes, I'll be ready. Must I? You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. can imagine. A celebrity in their midst. They must have raised their voices from whispers to faint murmurs. Hopefully, these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. I'm sure we will, but let's be proactive about it all the same. 
We're more than capable. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Don't be a stranger. Friend? Friend! You came! Big Brother Scratch, too! Happy! Yes, miss this more. Yes, big. But Scratch is smart, teaches me many things, like Big Brother. Widders? No. You smell very delicious. Follow smell, find you. Lots. Make friends with a turtle, a cat, a kraken. Kraken eats my cat friend, so I bite, kill. With shiny clothes, I am strong. Tired now. Want sleep? Want cave? Bear man? Hmm. He is big. But not bigger than me. I like him. I go to him. when he could source food. I remember one evening when we had to eat 14 apples, some fish heads, and a stale loaf of bread just to get by. <laughs> you see, Boo? I told you our friend was near. I've missed wine. Had to resort to making my own cider recently, which isn't bad, don't get me wrong. But a girl can't have fun with apples alone. <laughs> you might be onto something there, though the name might need work. Somehow it sounds rude, even though I know otherwise. Don't be a stranger. Withers has a keen eye for a nice finish. Ah, breathe deep, Boo. The smell of heroes sings from every stone in this place. Ah, to meet again where your journey began, my friend. An honor. For Minsk and his hamster both. Oh, and for Happy also. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Honored, of course. <laughs> See how your very presence snatches the breath from his chest? And it is no wonder. It is just this day that Happy learned of your legend, while we gazed down upon the very city you saved. He dangled me from the high hall, upside down, for two hours. Uh, the guild should not go creeping in high places if they do not have the stomach for them, hmm? It is well for Happy the strange portal appeared when it did. Minsk's arm was growing exum. So I have. Though it is a piece made more from blade and boot than it is any sense of brotherhood. Nine fingers forbade any looting of the Illithid's fleshy vessels. And so Minsk guards what remains of the battle site, even from her. But where Minsk might once have thrown any sneaking scoundrels from the tower top, now I tell them of you. How you ruled the wickedness within. How they might do the same. Yes, yes, I'll rule it. I'll be better. No, oh, of course. It is still for Boo to decide if they live or die. Oh. Oh, God. But enough, my friend. I cannot tell your tale if I do not know the whole of it. Minsk and Boo would know where you have been, what you have done.
Minsk has wondered how that sad-mouthed Grey Cloak and flighty Airy have fared. And whether Yarn never built his turnip cannon. But should you meet a Red Wizard, remember, you may have conquered your bloodline. But there is no shame in a small and sensible amount of murder. Now, halfling, Bu will not have you embarrassing him in front of his friends. So you are to know the rest of the company you keep. Will Ravenguard, the Blade of Frontiers, Devil Horde, and Angel Hearted. Lazel of Cress Killer, true child of Gith, and true friend to Boo. Though she will and say it is not so. Astarian, who is banished by the sun itself for fear his spawnish soul might outshine it. We visit him much down in the dark places, though he often moves his lair without remembering to tell me square. Gale, the man who would be a god, but then thought better of it. Boo thinks better of him for it too. Shadowheart, two gods tugged at her soul, but she managed to keep it all for herself in the end. Wait, who did, did she do something with her hair? Halsin, archdruid of archers somewhere. He is a much better man than he smells. And there, the champion of the hells herself. Karlak Demon's Bane, Devil's Bane, Merkel Ball and Bane Bane. Once the guild is made of good names once more, Bull shall scratch the hells wide open and find a way to bring her back. And finally, Jahira. If this is a name you do not already know, then not even Boo can save you. Study them well, sneak thief. For the best among them will be a guide for your guild. Heroes who put the city before themselves. Who never falter in their duty. And more than this, who never arrive to a party without even a gift for the host. But wait! Go, my friend. Be among our friends. There is much work yet to be done before this one is fit to join them. He's going to kill me, isn't he? Not the big mad bastard. The hamster. Cool, Why fresh were air. we scrounging the living barrels gods, and crates for supplies when he could source these? God, I remember one evening... There when you are, my friend. Breathe deep. Can you smell it? You take in every scent the night breeze carries. Sweet honeysuckle, tender violets, and an earthy fragrance you can't quite recognize. Forest trees draped in moss, bittersweet, smoky, and that faintest hint of vanilla. A far cry from the rancid Avernus heat that's been clogging my lungs. I swear. Karlak and I have felled enough Cambians to build a fortress with their horns. Who'd have thought that just one of those fiends held the key to escaping Avernus for good? One of them sported a map and some blueprints. If you want all the gory details, Karlak can fill you in. But get this. If those blueprints work, I could reverse engineer my stone eye. Instead of Mazora tracking me, I could track her. It's past time for her old pet to sink in his fangs. I've missed you too. The rush of battles we fought, the heart to hearts, the nights around the fire, the comfort of knowing I didn't face the unknown alone. If I had to do it all over again, and I'd rather not, to be clear, I can't imagine not having you at my side. 
I think the splinters I made out of the last bone devil I saw speak for themselves. Not to pat myself too hard on the back, but I'm not such a bad ranger if I do say so myself. I've seen him more than a few times, and he's as proud of me as I am of him. He's leading the city's renewal, opened the gates to all newcomers, rebuilt the council from scratch. And he's back in his element, commanding the flaming fist with brave heart and no shortage of empathy. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Bane's chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow that cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions, fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but with Floric's help, he's teaching the fist a new lesson. Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. Well, that's enough hell talk for the moment. The night's young. You shouldn't go wasting it. Or wasting any of the wine, for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oh, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. We shall conclude our business with the thief. But have no fear, my friend. Who will save you a dance? Now, there's a face I know well and cannot needed. remember the last time I heard the ballad of the endless spring. Before. Ah, it's the star of the show. Our humble protagonist who forsook Baal to save the city. Our skeletal friend will be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. Busy as ever. Better that than the reverse, wouldn't you say? Every major publishing house on the Sword Coast has been vying for my upcoming book on the subject of our adventures together. I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? Come now, you don't want to be seen as a mere sequel. Perhaps, once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'll write a draft, and you can just sign your name. Better still. I'll sign it for you, hmm? Ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. Happy? Gonna live with the bear man. Gonna fight him. But no bite. Promise. Don't waste a step. So you made it! <laughs> now it really is a party. Hello, darling. I wasn't sure our withered old friend could live up to his promise. But here we are. And I must say, for someone who had to face down a dark god, you seem to be doing remarkably well. What have you been up to? No relapses, I hope. Of course, a very sensible step. The last thing we wanted was another surprise. <laughs> Not that I was worried, of course. I knew you'd have this under control. But I am glad to see you doing well. I'm glad to see us all doing well, in fact. Things turned out rather nicely in the end. Cheeky. 
I've been very well behaved. Thank you. I've taken a turn as an adventurer and hero. <laughs> it turns out no one actually cares about murder, as long as you murder the right people. And apparently I'm rather good at it. <laughs> Let's not get carried away, darling. I'm still me. Perhaps more me than I've ever been. I did at first. But then I realized. These shadows. This darkness. It's all a part of me. I spent too long defined by what other people did to me. The choices other people made for me. But that's over now. This is who I am. In all my glory, for better and for worse. But that being said, I haven't completely given up on returning to the sun. If the opportunity presented itself, well, I wouldn't say no. But until then, I am happy. We've had quite the journey, you and I. From the moment I first threatened you, I knew you were someone special. Someone to take on the world with. I will miss our time together. But then again, maybe this isn't goodbye. So much as it's, um... See you later, darling. After everything, this feels nice. A chance to take a breath, uh, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> ah, a most welcome sight. Old friend. I thought slaying Vlacket's hunters in the Cliffs of Swords' Teeth might be the month's pinnacle. But I was wrong. Being right here, with you, is an infinitely greater pleasure. Were it not for you, I might not have known the value of partnership, connection. I found new allies now. New... friends. People I trust and who trust me in return. We've heard word of a Githyanki outpost hidden deep in Chult. The last of Vlacket's Sword Coast strongholds. We mean to slay every last Sarth and Kithrak. Perhaps the Challenger of Gods would care to join us. You always did have a great fire in your belly. I'm glad to see you have kept it kindled. Now go, mingle while you can. That's the word, right? Mingle? There is plenty of time yet for slicing scalps and tasting blood. You're quite certain I look acceptable. Our adventures rarely lend themselves to luxury. Or cleanliness, for that matter. It's been some time since I've made such an effort. Oh, don't mind me. I'm only your oldest friend and your mother's most voluble confidant. Do whatever you please. I don't mind. I won't keep you to myself for too long. But while I have you, I want to say thank you for encouraging me to attend this evening. I confess... When I left Waterdeep, there was a part of me afraid that I might regret my decision. But I never have. The chance to see life through your eyes, as well as my own. It's been everything I hoped it would be. I'm delighted to be here amongst friends again. But part of me is reluctant to step away from our new life. Even for such a gathering as this.
Given the rest of the guest list, I'd say you're not the only one. Thankfully, your temptations tonight can be indulged. Good food, good wine, and excellent company. I'm just glad I'm not the only one encouraging you to leave the library once in a while. It does one good to feel the grass beneath one's paws from time to time. I don't know where to begin in telling people what we've been up to. I suspect they won't believe me. What can I say? You're an excellent teacher. Our lives are certainly a far cry from the one I once pictured. Even now, with the orb's fires quelled by Mr. at last, I scarcely dare believe it. <laughs> Before we met, I fear I was rather stuck in my ways. And stuck inside my tower with a world-shattering orb of magic sealed within my chest, to be fair to myself. I was afraid to so much as dream of a night like this. To hope that my life might amount to more than lonely, bitter disappointment. And then I found you. Standing here, now, I no longer see the people we were. Frightened, desperate, alone. We changed. We survived. And we did it together. I've missed them. I've missed this. I wouldn't go quite that far. Living without the threat of imminent seramorphosis seems infinitely preferable to life on the precipice of such a transformation. As I told you long ago, it is to be avoided. God knows we suffered for our salvation, but it was worth it, wasn't it? We did something incredible. And wherever life takes us, we'll carry the memory of that with us forever. Now, much as I could spend an eternity in your company, we see plenty of each other already. Tempting as it is to keep you all to myself would be terrible company if we didn't mingle for at least part of the evening. I love you. Now go on, before I change my mind. Oh, hello, darling. I wasn't sure you'd make it. Yes, you are a very social sort, aren't you? Gale's never been kept so busy in all his days. No wonder his studies are suffering. But such is the way of love, isn't it? I'd like that very much. Thank you, darling. Now, enjoy your party. You quite earned it if the balladeers are to be believed. I know my charm is intoxicating, but let's not be poor company. Go, have fun. I promise I'll stay out of trouble for one evening. Rat. I'd take rat over this any day. A familiar sight. Scratch can't quite speak around the thing he has in his mouth. It's so nice to see you again. You smell different. 
but not too different. I missed your smell, but this thing I found had you all over it. I, I brought it for you, and I thought perhaps you'd like to throw it? I certainly have, and I always will. Forever, I think. And so will you. With friends amidst nature. <laughs> well, you made it! <laughs> now the revelry can truly begin. You would think someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now our paths cross once more. We have all pined for each other's company, I sense. I cannot imagine otherwise after what we shared. That bond was forged in a crucible that can never be stoked again, Oak Father willing. It is a bond that can weather any distance, any passage of time. I know it can, for I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. I always do. Should I ever decline, assume a doppelganger has taken my place. <laughs> that was more than worth the wait. Rest assured, my arms shall be ready. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. In that case, very well. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes, and the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony, stronger together. It is, truly, though a more complex, evolving beast than I could ever have anticipated. I spoke often of balance before. Only now do I realize that balance is no simple, fixed thing. We welcome folk from all walks of life. Anyone who wishes for a new start. Naturally, it can be chaotic at times, but it is a thrilling sort of chaos. It thrives in ways I could never have dreamed of. You are welcome whenever you like, and for however long you please. Now, please, tell me all, and spare no details. I shall not lie, I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children, you see, my charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halsin. Another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. They have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. No mean feat to give them the lifetime I have lived. I desperately need new material, please. My reputation is at stake. I am all ears, though I never cared for that phrase. A rather unsettling image. <laughs> you have kept yourself busy. I expected no less in truth. 
I shall be able to keep the children enthralled for a few more nights yet, thanks to you. And should you wish to retell of your exploits in person, well, I shall not object to a night off. Now, it would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. <laughs> Quite often. They come and go as they please, but with so many playmates to avail of, <laughs> they are far from strangers. They ask after you often. What you did for them will never be forgotten. I can see it in the land all around me. But more importantly, I see it in their faces whenever they visit. To make a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods as far as I'm concerned. I spend half my days in ursine form. The children demand it. I had a score of them taking turns riding upon my back just days ago. <sighs> I'm glad they are so comfortable with the Oak Father's creations. But they must learn that not all are as amiable as I am. A lesson for another time, though. They deserve some joy. As for roaming, that impulse has dwindled, I must admit. Perhaps because I have found where I am meant to be. As did I, but somehow I feel like I no longer need to roam. That I have found something worthy laying roots for. Amazing what can be discovered about oneself even at a ripe old age. On occasion, but I prefer not to interfere. Francesca of the High Forest is Archdruid now, and by all accounts, she has proven to be a steady and wise influence. Even Korga may yet find true balance, thanks to her influence. Do you truly even need to ask? Of course. Who could not open their home to a befeathered hero of Baldur's Gate? Ah, and I did promise the children I would bring them back a surprise. Ah, oh, imagine their faces. <laughs> Always. Your embrace makes me feel safer than any armor could. Uh, before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. <laughs> Ducks are my favorite, but I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet, they always find their way back to where they belong. <laughs> Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. Just a token to remember me by. <laughs> now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on. Enjoy the festivities. We can speak again later. This is... nice. Yes. I think that's the right word for it. Well now. 
You can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to. <laughs> ah, how nice to be understood again. I have spent the past months bickering with builders and bankers, all to restore the city exactly as it was. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing. Huh. An empty throne. Thanks to you. The city will not be long in burying it. Baldurians simply... get on with it. <laughs> Stubbornness. Civic spirit. Plain stupidity. Perhaps all three. But nothing I will sniff at any longer. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand. To organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing eight ones. <sighs> they might learn a thing or two if they don't expel her. Again. Ah, there is still much to do. People to house. A harper network to rebuild. I may have little love for this city, but so long as my family chooses to serve it, I can do no less. Ah, uh, but I see the flush in your cheeks when I speak of family. Perhaps you mean to start one of your own? Oh, I don't want to watch over a blood match where the jewelers call me auntie. Just be careful, Valspawn. All right, Baal child. It is true you are no longer what you were. You have done well for yourself, for all your travels. I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means to you. Ah, oh, sentiment. With the greatest affection, I can think of better ways to sour our stomachs. I must inspect the refreshments. You never know. Some ne'er-do-well might have tampered with the wine. Why are you looking at me so? I'm enjoying myself. You look upon fun, Jahira. Hmm. The man just makes friends wherever he goes, no? Ah, oh, fine then. I shall keep him from jumping back through a portal in the morning. Or perhaps follow him and give the Zenter him a talking to. If my head is sore enough. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He wasn't kidding. With us, you mad bastard. You brought me back. Soldier. It's really you. <laughs> I've missed you, you old ball spawn. Oh, do you not want me to call you the B word anymore? You're too good, buddy. Well, you did save the world despite getting repeatedly possessed by the spirit of murder. So technically, you're the best. I'm just so glad you're doing all right. I thought of you often, whenever I could spare half a thought. Surviving Avernus doesn't leave you much time to think. But having Will around has been incredible. Fuck is even better at killing devils than yours truly. 
We don't have much time to chat, but just knowing he's there makes all the difference. Oh, but hey, guess what we found? Cambion dropped a map with directions and blueprints for Zariel's own private forge. A fucking forge! Our current plan is to get in, grab a smith, and force him to fix old Rusty. Or maybe give me a brand new model that can live outside of Ernest. You haven't seen the last of old Karlak yet, soldier. Trying not to count my owlbears before they've hatched. But the thought of coming back to Baldur's Gate keeps me going. Can I look you up when I'm out? Hey, that would be kind of fun, though. High stakes, hide and seek. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be curious to see if you could land a blow or two. Gods, is it good to see you again. To be here, together. Hard not to get used to it all over again. This won't be the last time. I promise. Look at this place. At us! This is the best party I have ever been to! I remember one evening when we had to eat 14 apples with this some fish wine from all over the world. Is there just one to get bottle by. of fresh blood?
into some fresh wine from all over the world. But is there one bottle of fresh blood?
Cheers to you. Cheers to Withers. <laughs> Cheers to all of us. A beautiful night. I wish it could last forever. Why are you looking at me so? I'm enjoying myself. You look up. Is there one bottle of fresh blood? Yes, you've got some suggestions about the music choice. <laughs> I find it hard to summon up the trademark pep these days. You have no idea who I am, do you? I thought Withers might have set the stage a little. I owe him a favor. One he is eternally invoking. I thought honoring the worthy was a fair price to pay for Withers to pull me out of the fugue plane. <sighs> Alas, one purgatory to another. Languishing in obscurity. Sirik knew what he was doing when he punished me for that song, the prick. Before I was banished to the fugue plane, I had song prayers coming out the proverbial ears. Guess how many I get now? None. Musical prayers were once offered to Menil, Lord of Song, a minor deity whose worship faded after offending the trickster god Cyric. I'm washed up, I'm afraid. You know. <laughs> You're bloody right. It is an honor. Finally, the scribe picks an adventurer of substance, of culture. What can I do you for? Your wish is my etc. What song do you want? Fantastic idea. It'll suit the whole affair perfectly. Mm. 
Greetings, oh cultured adventurer. Fantastical. Good. For one comprising mostly of bone? Perhaps he wishes to live by care as the attendees' appetites. This one night is like any other, and yet different. Thou art the savior of Boulder's Gate, until such time it requires saving again. How dost thou feel? I am pleased to hear it. The satisfaction of one's intention is, to my surprise, a rare accomplishment. Enjoy the revelry of the day. Thou deservest at least that much. What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself. But for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready. For thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, Problems worth solving. To you. Faces gods, thy actions barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flares. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. 